Oh, welcome. This is the first article about Qtile. And as you see, I've just installed everything, which means that the package manager here, Pamac AOR, is going to tell me, hey, you have updates. So the first thing you do after any clean installation, doesn't matter what system you're on, you need to, well, update. Um, you want updates fast, I suppose. So it all depends where you live, but we have um, lots of Arch Linux you hear it correctly, Arch Linux servers around the world. And you need to tell them, hey, I'm living in Belgium, I'm living in Asia, I'm living in America, etc. So we have a few aliases out there. And it's these guys here that is going are going to do the trick. The mirror thing is going to work for you. And if you say, go and have a look at the latest mirrors of Arch Linux, what are the fastest? In my neighborhood please rate them accordingly and put them in my system so that's basically what mirror is doing we have now the fastest system this is the rating how fast everything is seems that this guy is going to get it and that's this url i think that's the fastest here's an even faster guy from germany so he's going to get to be the first uh server where everything is going to be downloaded so when i press update is going to get from this German server everything that's um, from Arch Linux and it's also going to get everything that's coming from Arch Linux from GitHub or Seathost. So first Seathost, then GitHub. If you want to become technical, why not? Why not uh, educate people so everybody knows how it works? So if you go to pacman.d, you'll see that this is the Arch Linux mirror list so basically it's coming first from seat host if that, that fails and it just failed a few hours ago then uh, it just gets the second line so it'll give a nice little error and it just jumps to the second uh, line which is github that's going to uh, give all the packages so everything keeps working that's the point and the mirror list that's the one we just did the uh, command mirror is overwritten with the reflector results and this guy is gonna win. So the Germany uh, URL is winning. So if this guy is down, then the second one comes in and the third one and the fourth one. So um, if you have five or, or so servers, probably gonna be enough for you. Okay, so that's how everything works at backend. Super Q, by the way, is working to close a window. Super Shift Q as well. So whatever you feel like, when you have, what your fin fingers remember, it will just work because Qtile is a tiling window manager so it's working with um, well keyboard shortcuts last thing so if um, update works everything is all up to date as you can see last thing is to check if anything from the AUR is uh, in need for an update and these are the four guys that need to be updated and we'll just have to wait for that update to run. So when you scroll up and scroll down, you wanna go back to the bottom, just press the space bar on your keyboard and you're down and we're just gonna have to wait. So let's pause here and then uh, continue. Okay, everything has uh, been updated and that's again the last video for all the first video actually, <laughs> not the last, the first video we make about Qtile. So once you install any desktop system, first things is update, maybe a scale. If so, if anything is different, then you type command scale inside. And if you wanna learn what changes before the update, you do a backup scale. And then after the update, you do one again, and you have two folders. And these two folders can be compared I have made videos about that, how to do that and why you should do that, just for educational purposes. Of course, they're exactly the same at this point in time, but that's explained in other videos. So that's it for me. That's the first video. Install your Qtile and then start, um, well, updating your system. All right, cheers.